Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika with a C. If this is your first time clicking on a video of mine, then I hope that by the end of this video, you consider subscribing or share my video with a friend or do both, comment, whatever your heart leads you to do. If you one of my oldies, hey boo, girl, boo, hey. Let's cue that intro though. So this video is going to be about 10 things you didn't know about this girl right here. 10 things you don't know about me. I'm pretty sure this is 10 things I don't think I've ever talked about in any of my videos. Um, I tried to find stuff that I haven't really like discussed before so that y'all know two, 10 new things about me. Cause I think I get pretty, um, pretty deep on my videos. I think I get real personal on some of them, but some of them, I think I just, I tell y'all, I tell y'all a lot. I do, I tell y'all a lot. So number one, you may not believe me. I'm going to insert a clip just, just cause, um, but I used to ride a unicycle. I did. I used to ride one in fifth and sixth grade at this school called Academy Prep. Told you if you've been, if you're one of my OGs, you know that I talked about, um, having a, I'm going to a private school, basically fifth through eighth grade or fifth through 12th grade actually. And so, um, at my first private school, Academy Prep, shout out to y'all. Academy Prep, um, I, they would bring like different people in. Like we went tennis play, we went and played tennis, golfing, swimming, you like, you name it. I got greens, beans, potatoes. <laughs> I tried, I forgot. Okay, so look. <laughs> okay, so they would bring people in. And um, so I learned how to ride a unicycle. And I also was in the, one of the Martin Luther King parades that they would have down in Florida where I'm from. And I was juggling on the unicycle. So I felt like, okay, you know, I got this. Once you, you know how if you ride a bike, you kind of like know what you're doing. It's like, you know, second nature to you. Y'all, I ordered a unicycle off Amazon because I'm sitting there hyping it up at work. I'm like, I know how to ride one. I got this. I say I'm finna order one and I'm about to show y'all. Cue the video. Um, I couldn't get it. I could not get it. My kids saw me on that thing. They was like, mommy, you might want to stop because you keep knocking stuff off the wall. Just stop. Okay. I couldn't get it. It ain't like riding a bike no more, but I got people that done seen me do it. So just take my word for it. Okay. I did. It's been, it's been about 18 years since I've been on the unicycle and I just can't do it no more. But 2020 that's the goal for me to learn how to ride a unicycle again y'all heard it here first 2020 that's one of my goals i'm gonna get it so number two listen i love scary movies i'm talking about baby i watch a whole bunch of them but if ain't nobody in this house with me mm -mm. So the only time I'll watch a scary movie is if I got somebody in here. And I, ain't, I my kids kind of count, but I need another adult. I don't know what it is. I feel like when I go to sleep, whatever I just watch is going to happen. I think I can do the movies where it's, um, I can do the like, like, I don't know. I, some of these scary movies be creative, but the ones where it's like an actual person come in to like do something, people crazy like that for real. So... I love horror movies, but I can't watch them unless I got another adult um, in the house with me. Or somebody else in the house with me. So, um, that's number two. That's something y'all ain't know about me. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one on this earth, though, that think like that. I, number three. I don't think y'all gonna believe me. But uh, I'm, I promise. You can ask my mama. I am such an introvert. I'm shy. I'm very, very quiet. 
I promise. I know I may not look like it on this camera because I get that a lot where, you know, you are not shy. You are not an introvert. Meet me in person. And I ain't never talked to you before. I'm going to just stand there like this. I get, I have been told I come off as like kind of stuck up, bougie, stank. I just don't fool with a lot of people. I, you just can't trust everybody. So I am very, very much so very shy and very, very introverted. This right here, my peace and quiet. This is my home. It's my home. It's my bubble. And I'd rather be in my house away from everybody else than to be out in out there with all them folk all that negative energy out there you en energy is serious it is serious and if your vibe and your energy is off then it's gonna come over here and try and affect what i got going on so i just say to myself i'm very very introverted and uh if you invite me over somewhere nine times out of ten i'm gonna say i'm gonna go just to make you feel good at the moment and then i'm not gonna go so that's number three number four Am I the only one that eats ice in my cereal? I do. Y'all, it's so good. I don't like my milk lukewarm. I can't stand if my milk is lukewarm. Mm -mm. And I don't like my cereal getting soggy, so I put ice in it. So I put ice in my cereal. I eat ice while I'm in the tub. If I'm in like a real hot, hot bath, I cannot have lukewarm water. So my tub has to be scorching hot. So when I get in there, I'm like, ooh, that's hot. You gotta ease on into the water and then it start burning everywhere else. If hey, it's hot, but it be feeling so good. So I just bring me like a little cup of ice in them. And then when I'm pregnant, I eat ice too. So ice is like a big thing to me. I don't eat it here because I don't like the ice machine. And then I just don't trust the water up here in Alaska like that. So mm-mm. Give me some good Sonic or Chick-fil-A ice, and we in there. Give me a whole cup. So that's number four. Number five. Am I the only one that don't fold my laundry, but, like, soon as it come out, that's something I'm trying to do for 2020, but it may not work. I didn't even put it as, like, a goal or a vision because it ain't going to work. I feel like when I wash my clothes, that's enough for that day or for that weekend. I'm telling you, the clothes be sitting in the basket for about three weeks, and then... I wash them when I'm like, dang, I'm tired of carrying the clothes in my arms to the laundry. So I don't fold my clothes up after they washed. I fold them up eventually, but it's going to be about a good two or three weeks later. Number six, um, I hate dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is nasty. Like it's gross. And if you like it, kudos to you, but give me some milk chocolate. I don't like dark chocolate. I got notes right here. That's why I keep looking down. Okay, so number eight. I'm scared of any rodent, rat, mouse, spider. I know that ain't a rodent, but spider, snakes. It ain't got no arms. Ooh, baby, you a worm. Ooh, any of that, like... Worms and snakes don't got no arms, no like they just slither. Ooh, I'm scared of basically everything, everything outside, bugs. Not, I ain't scared of like no fly or um, I don't know, but it's crazy because they be so little, but scared the hell out of me. I'd be so scared, so scared. That's number eight. I'm scared of basically everything. I ain't gonna lie. Number nine. I love, love, love to read and write. Like, absolutely love to read and write. I read a lot of books. Um, and I have four unfinished books that I have written. And they're kind of like based on my life. So if something like dramatic or something serious happens to me, I will like write about it. And so um, it's kind of crazy. Like, because I'll write about like what has happened to me in the past. Like... Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that my son was conceived overseas. Um, and then my daughter, child, baby, she was conceived right in Louisiana. Um, so she are, uh, so I have like four unwritten stories about like big things that have happened in my life, I guess. So that's like, I love, love, love to read and write. And 
I just one day I'm gonna have a book published it may be this year maybe next year but it's not anything that I want to like focus my attention on right now but I do want to at least have one published book out there in the atmosphere out there in the world um one day it'll come but I do I love I'm such a reader and I'm a writer and I just absolutely love it maybe I'll start a book club I don't know I be I got so much stuff up here in this head I just don't know what to you know like what to do so number nine i think i'm on number nine right i might have messed up number nine yes because i got one more that i saved for last so number nine so <laughs> i don't even know if i should say this but <laughs> i'm gonna just put it out there y'all you know we talk about <laughs> Okay, so two of my most interesting relationships are I have dated a female one time. Yes, I'm putting it out there. If you close to me, you know that I was in a relationship with a female one time. Hey, girl. Hey, boo. If you're watching. Uh, yes, I dated a female one time. I'm not going to put her name out there. I'm not going to say who it is. If you're close to me, you know who it is. But yes, I was in a relationship with a female once. And... um. And then I got pregnant with my son. So that relationship ended. We were dating for a little over a couple of, like a little over a year and a half, almost two years. But I kind of screwed that up. So, yes, I, yeah, I, I, I dibbled and dabbled in that, um, you know, on that side. And then I have dated. I have been in a 19 year age gap relationship. And I wouldn't even say past tense because it's very much so like happening. So hey to you too. So yes, I have y'all, it's I'm not even gonna get into it because this video is about 10 things you didn't know about me. But yes, I have dated a female and I have dated someone 19 years older than me. So that's not on that. Yeah, we just gonna leave it right there. We gonna leave it right there. Comment, y'all can leave comments. I'll answer questions, but I may make like a whole nother video about like how those experiences were. So like I said, with my books, I write about things that have happened to me. And those are two very, very interesting relationships that have happened to me in my 28 years of life. That's all we gonna say. Number 10. I say number 10 for last because I just want, I want to, I told you on this channel, we all about empowering, encouraging and everything. So number 10 that you didn't know about me, babe, depression is so real. I have had so many depressed days. I have had postpartum depression. I have had depression to where I felt like giving up. And I'm talking about like giving up on life altogether. So thank God, you know, I'm still here and i didn't let it consume me but there has been so many days that i have been depressed and i think this youtube channel gives me some sort of accountability and to know that i have so many women it's mainly women that comment there's like a couple of guys but there's so many women that comment on my video and that comment to encourage others like in my giveaway video all that positivity that y'all was sharing it makes my heart feel so special like i just oh it makes me feel so special and it just gives me some sort of accountability and some sort of like purpose my children I will always talk about my kids on all my videos because if it wasn't for them, depression might have won. But I do not let it take over my life anymore. And I just want to be a, a positive person to those that are depressed, going through depression, feeling like you just want to give up. Baby, listen, there is so much for you to live for. You got to dig deep, find your purpose and what it is God has called you to do. I feel like this right here is my purpose and um, helping people budget. I'm not perfect at budgeting. I'm not perfect at what I talk about on my channel. I'm not perfect at any of this. I just share my experiences with you and hope that you take some small fraction of my video with you at the end of the day. So... That is the last number 10. I told y'all some, you know, I told y'all some stuff on this video. Um, but I didn't want to make it too long. So I 
hope you now know just a little bit more about me and now you can watch my videos and kind of see where I'm coming from and vibe with me on a different level, on a more personal level. Because I do want to get into, I do want my channel to be where y'all like actually, actually family and you come with me and um, you know, you, you take this journey with me. So as always, I appreciate each and every one of you and I hope if you're new to my channel, you consider subscribing and um, just sharing the positivity with those around you and always know that whatever you set your mind to, you can do it and empowering others, happiness, your happiness is 100% on you. Don't let others tell you how to run and control your life. Your chapter is you write the chapter to your story no matter what. So, I will see y'all in my next video. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.